library we are back on another live with and today we've got some lovely guests with us you're going to be well you've seen on the picture on the thumbnail it's andy and chris Kirsty, I keep saying Christy because my manager was called Christy. It's Kirsty. I keep getting, I don't know, I'm sorry. Right, so <laughs> Already yes. messed up. Yeah, I have messed up exactly. already, and I haven't even really drank anything. This is all I've had, this little sip out of this. I haven't. Yeah. Um, hopefully you can hear it and see us okay. So, um, somebody up. can just give a thumbs up in the chat, that'd be that'd great. That'd be good. Um, as Luke said, um, it's another live with. This is our third one now. It's, yes. It's flying by, isn't it? I can, like, Last month was like not long ago, and it's just That's all just of a sudden flown by so oh. so fast. Yeah, I don't know where time's going. So I can see we've got a couple of familiar faces in the chat. I can see Ken. Yeah, we've got uh, Ethan Paul, yeah. Tony, Louise, uh, James. James. Gail Ken was cruising. Evening. Uh, Gail and Mike. We can Gail see you all coming up just as we come on. It all cruising. Yeah. Molly, Ian T, and Roxy T. Yeah. Uh, Tommy, hello. How are you? Tom and Dom. Uh, Stephen, uh, Miguel, oh, there's loads here, isn't there? Jerry, Paul Greens, uh, <laughs> so, Jerry, same, old, same old same. If you have a no, question, no. please put question first because it makes it easier for us to see. Because obviously, we know you will get chatting in there in the feed there, and um, sometimes it's difficult to work out what's a question, what's a comment, and what's a conversation. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, it makes it easier for us. So yeah, if you could just kindly put question before your question, it's just brilliant because it stands out. So that's that's awesome. Yes, um, so are we ready to? Yes, Andy so um, we're going to bring Andy and Kirsty on. Um, they've cruised with Celestial, I've got to read this out because there's a lot of cruise lines. Celestial, Hal, Royal Caribbean, Fred Olsen, Eno, Princess, Morella, Cunard, and it might be some I've missed, so <laughs> I'm sure they'll correct us. But let's bring them on uh, if this works. Let's see. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Hey. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> How are you doing? We're good. How are you? Yeah, all yeah, right. Very good. All right. I don't normally drink this time of night, I have to say. It's Sunday night eight o'clock i'm not normally drinking beer i've normally got my feet up on the coffee table falling asleep this time on a sunday night <laughs> <laughs> so well we appreciate so, yeah. you joining us thanks for being here. yeah thankfully we're working with <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm sure most people know you but if you want to explain who you are and uh, what you do that'd be great uh so yeah um it's pretty easy to work out our names because we didn't get that adventurous with the title of our YouTube channel. So uh, this is Andy, I'm Kirsty, or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah, we started putting videos up on YouTube quite a, quite a while ago now. Um, mm. Never intended actually creating a YouTube channel and cruising or a YouTube channel at all. We just, we sort of kind of got into cruising 10 years ago and and it grew arms and legs. We really got into cruising, uh, took loads of photos, and eventually started getting into taking bits and pieces of videos. And uh, and yeah, like I say, it grew arms and legs, and the rest is history. Yeah. So you started cruising roughly the same time as us, then, like ten years ago. Yeah. We yeah. Were... Yeah. Twenty eleven. Yeah. Ventura, I think the first one was, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah you've yeah. done you've done a lot of cruise lines. I was looking through. There's a good variety in there. Yeah. We did, well, we did quite. We sort of took on the challenge, I think, last year to um, try a few different ones, didn't we? Yeah, we didn't go out of our way to try different ones. We just did loads and loads of P and O, didn't we? Which because we love P and O, it was. Yeah. I, I think it's changed a little bit now. To be fair, that seems to be the general consensus. Is it's slightly different to how it was ten yeah. years ago, um, but we loved it. Um, and it's what got yeah. That's the the cruise line that got us into cruising. And I think we must uh, have done about eight or nine. We did loads, yeah. Originally, we, we, just on we did loads. We did um, Ventura a couple of times. That was our first two cruises. Were both Ventura, weren't they? Yeah. Uh, and that was um, like a Iberian cruise, and then uh, Norway. That was right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Britannia came online. We didn't do the maiden, but we did the the second that uh, the second cruise that it, it ever did that ever right. sailed. Uh, that was two weeks around the med and uh yeah we just we just loved the pno product so uh so we stuck with them for a while we did yeah. um, and we kept looking at other cruise lines but we were so happy with pno we just we just thought let's just you know visit different places um on on the ships that they had in the fleet at the time and, just try and we ships. did we did almost every single cr cruise line in the fleet didn't we nearly arcadia is the only one that we hadn't done yeah um, and uh and Arvia now obviously yes yeah <laughs> I, mean, I mean we we were just saying the other day actually that two of the cruise two of the P&O cruise ships that we sailed on uh during that period 
I've I've actually left the fleet now. Uh, that was Oriana Ori and Oceana. Yeah. 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 Uh, and we loved both those ships, didn't we? Yeah, Oceana was lovely, wasn't it? Yeah. You tell uh, we, yeah, so, uh, kind of we stuck with P and O when we yeah. first started cruising because it had everything we wanted. It felt comfortable. And that's, yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, exactly that. And you get to and they're still really good them. value for money. Yeah. Yeah. Not yeah. 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 Um, right, yeah, so we so we thought we'd try something different, but we didn't sort of really go out of our way. We just um, that's just kind of how it panned out, really. More, more, it was more about the itineraries. I think we were, started looking at different itineraries, and uh, yeah. I think once we'd tried one or two different cruise lines, we just started looking a little bit further afield. Yeah, and it's, yeah, it's, it's worked out really well for us actually because we've we've, we've taken some really good, really good cruises, yeah. and yeah. we're in the last, last since the so. since the pandemic. I think we've we've gone on some really good trips yeah. that we've really enjoyed. Yeah, I was looking. You've gone like you've done the Asia cruise. You've been on recently. You've got Alaska. You do. I think it was a non-cruise Lapland. That looked quite cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, Caribbean. You've done India, Dubai, Hawaii. Some real kind of bucket list yeah, destinations. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying to trying to get it all in. Yeah. Just in yeah. case I don't have any money left when I retire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Say, yeah, yeah, we've done a couple of couple of nice um, land based holidays as well because it was never really supposed to be about cruising. It's just our holiday yeah, yeah. Um, videos, isn't it? Yeah, really, yeah. it was never supposed to be about cruising in the ships. Um, you know, we don't. We, I, I've kind of dipped my toe in uh, in into doing little bits and pieces of the cabin tours and stuff, but we're not very good at it. I'm not very good at it, um, and. And it's uh, it's always always a bit half baked, isn't it? So I thought, you know what, I'm just not going to do it. I'm going to leave it to the people that can do it well, yeah. Um, because it's not what I enjoy doing either. They're really just our holiday videos, yeah. aren't they? And uh, and sometimes we do like doing different things. Um, yeah. And so we we may we may start creating videos doing other things that we like to do. But we've done a few different videos that aren't cruises. It's just that we love cruising so much. The channel yeah. seems to be. We've seen. I think we've, we're sort of known now as cruise loggers because that's yeah. kind of like the content that yeah, we create yeah. because yeah. we love cruising. Yeah. But we never actually wanted to create a cruising channel, if if that makes any sense. Yeah. Um, I've got a couple of questions coming in. Um, so you, you did Alaska, didn't you? Um, yes. You did. You didn't do with, with it Rocky Mountains, though, did you? It was just Alaska. We didn't that. do the Rocky Mountain here. No, we um, we just flew into yeah. Vancouver for a night, didn't mm -hmm. we? And that was your um, Holland America cruise. And then joined Holland America, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they were really Just good. Just because the Rocky Mountaineer is another sort of three grand each, I think, yeah, to it's, do. It's, it's quite, it's not a cheap thing to super, do. Super, super expensive. And it's the time as well, of course. We've got to take our leave into account. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, um, but yeah, cost, massive cost. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, it was, um, yeah, that was never going to be part of the plan, to be honest. It was always going to be fly out to... To, to wherever we could get on a ship and and do Alaska, and right. and it was better better than we had imagined, I think. Yes, yeah, definitely. It would awesome, awesome. Yeah. yeah. Try Alaska. Yeah, I think because I think it'd be nice to, because we've been told by people that it's very similar to like Norway because we do love Norway, but you've yeah. got more of the wildlife, so you've got like your bees and stuff. You've got things you can see, and you've got the, you know. Like yeah, it's, I, it, it's similar but different, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's very American. Yeah. Um, so. Um, yeah, whereas Norway obviously is a bit more of a European feel, um, yeah. and and it's just bigger. It just feels bigger. Okay, I don't know yeah. why, because it's quite similar, like you say. Yeah. But it's it it just does. It feels wilder if you if you know what I mean. I know. I, yeah. Hmm. So out of all of the cruises you've done so far, what would you say would be your favourite sort of destination or cruise? Oh, do you know at, at the moment, probably Asia because <laughs> yeah. I loved Asia. I've heard. I've heard people say a similar thing to this, and that's it's always the last one you've yeah. just you've just you've done. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> I, can't remember, I can't remember. It might have been Emma that said that. Um, someone has, I've heard someone say that before, and and I agree totally. It's always the last one you did, unless it was rubbish. Yeah. <laughs> but, but I can't say we've ever done a, a cruise that we didn't like. No, um, that we that we came back and thought, oh my god, that was awful. No, but Asia no. was Asia was amazing. Yeah, yeah it was. and Alaska, I really enjoyed. Yeah, I yeah, think it's 
surprise me. But so cl closer much. to the closer to home, uh, I think the um, the Adriatic was amazing. I really really enjoyed oh, that. Oh, yeah, that one was good as well. That was on. That <laughs> yeah. was that was with Morella on Morella Explorer. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, that was that was a fantastic cruise. So that always comes into mind when I think about uh, itineraries and, and cruises that I've enjoyed. Yeah. And actually, Egypt was never a place that I envisaged going at all but i'm kind of glad andy said shall we do egypt because it was just great to go and see the pyramids yeah, yeah. i'm quite glad I, I don't know sometimes places surprise you and you think oh god i really don't want to go there yeah. <laughs> but i actually really enjoyed it it was yeah. it was the experience was it was a good one yeah. definitely sure yeah. 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 You're supposed to do israel as well but unfortunately of course yeah it kicked the inevitable off inevitable happened about three four weeks, weeks before three, we went, three or four yeah. weeks before we went yeah, yeah um so we've got another question from ken goes cruising um uh, to all of us basically uh, which is your favorite cruise line and ship <laughs> that's always a tough one that is i like the see that that changes as well doesn't it yeah yeah because again, as we've that's said. kind of the last one you went on, and you think, yeah. "Oh, that was really good." Well, I can I I, I can answer that quite simply. It's there's elements of each ship that I like. Um, even if you just stick with one cruise line like PO, there are elements of different ships that I like. Yeah. Um, there are elements of uh, the dis Discovery and the Explorer ships with Morella that I like. Um, I like some things on this the Discovery ships, and some things on the Explorer ships. Yeah. So. There, there's no easy answer other than that like if i could take little bits and pieces from different ships then um, yeah. it would probably make the perfect ship um yeah there, there is no there is no favorite so. yeah, we, we could have done away with the shower curtain in the bathroom <laughs> yeah. on discovery yeah. two yeah. and i do apologize to anyone who was next to us in the cabin <laughs> for me swearing them <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> about the curtain it was, sticking uh, to me. Yeah, it was oh particularly sticky that shower curtain. <laughs> <It wasn't. laughs> <It wasn't. laughs> we always sort of say to people that when we get asked, we sort of say the cruise line, they've all got their own different sort of mood. Like some you might fancy like a run like to relax, completely chill out. So you'll go yeah. for a more sedate sort of cruise ship, cruise line. Mm. Whereas other times like you want a bit of a bit of life, you want a bit of a party, and then it's things like Virgin get thrown into the mix. Yeah. It's like it depends on how you feel. And I think so. Homely one is PO. Homely home from home is definitely P and O. We want um, to chill now, it's more like human. See, I'd, I'd really experience. like to go. I'd really love to try Virgin. Mm. Yeah. I highly recommend I it. I really it was, do want to try Virgin. Well, some other in Portsmouth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there are, aren't there? Yeah, like, I mean really? I I, I I wouldn't poo-poo the idea at all. I, I um it's not my gonna be my first choice because I don't think it's gonna be my bag. However, if you you know if we found one at the right time and price, then I, I would definitely give it a go for yeah. sure. Yeah, I, I would. I would never turn anything down. Mm. I'd always try something once, but I, I don't think it's going to be my cup of tea, if I'm honest. Mm. But but you know, but I, then I might you be wrong. Thought Royal Caribbean wouldn't be your thing. Yeah, you actually, I did. I just thought it was going to be a bit loud and a bit. Well, uh, it was loud. A, it was to be fair. <laughs> it <laughs> but it's great. Royal loud. Caribbean's brilliant. We love. Yeah, I mean, we, we we only did that one, didn't we, yeah. on the Oasis of the Seas, mm -hmm. and it was awesome. Out yeah. of Miami, yeah. I think if I, if we were going to do um, Royal Caribbean again, uh, I think it would have a. I think I, I can only say I think because we've not done it, but I think um, going out of Miami was brilliant. If it was for anywhere else, if it was like a European departure i think it would have a very different feel to it yeah going out of miami full of americans it was just a completely different vibe yeah. Yeah. that's not to say it's better i've just i i just i for me it was it was different enough to be really enjoyable whereas i think if it was if it was going out of southampton it'd be too too much the same as as, as what we've done previously yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we did love rock we love everything i, I really like that amazing. i loved that in fact i was blown away you did Anthem, didn't you yeah i yeah, absolutely yeah. love the solarium they've got at the front the, the ship is amazing room. yeah the ship's yeah. amazing yeah. And the bunker but, and there's loads of, there's loads of places to go in the evening as well there's yeah. just there's more choice far yeah. more choice so yeah it's really it was really good that um okay a question for you on um your latest um cruise uh uh which stop on your latest asia series surprised you the most um in a good way we're looking at this in 2025 that's from gail and mike i think um 
the uh, the video that's just gone out Lankawi. Um, I don't know if it surprised me. I, I I just didn't know anything about it. I mean, typical of me. I don't. I never research anything before I go. I always research it after I've been. Um, so I kind of get it the wrong way around, really. So I didn't know anything about it. And when we went, um, it was brilliant. Loved it. It was a beautiful island, um, and with some really fantastic um, places to visit. So, so it kind of kind of surprised me in a way. Singapore surprised me a bit actually because. Singapore's it's the most amazing, amazing city amazing. I've ever been to. <laughs> it's unbelievable. It's such a diversity, but 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 beautiful. Um, and the, the, easy to get around. Oh, it's just there's amazing. Just so, so, there's so much to do. Honestly, you could probably spend a week there. And yeah, still I think be, I think Singa still yeah, Sing it. Singapore surprised me just how good it actually was. Yeah. Cool. Honestly. Uh, a few more. Really yeah, a few more start. questions here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you've done the fjords, haven't you? Yeah, yes. Yeah, long time. Uh, 20, 2017? 2012 and 20, and 2017. Yeah, yes. Just before Neil Peel, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Um, were they both? There was that MS. Uh, sorry, P and O. Yes. No, both sorry. of them. Ventura was the first one. Yeah. Aurora was 2017. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, there we go. Uh, have you done Barcelona? There's a um, question yes. here from Jerry. Uh, pre and post cruise stay hotels in Barcelona. So we've only yeah, done we, one. We didn't, yeah, we, we didn't, didn't, we didn't go, we didn't embark or disembark. No, um, in Barcelona. it was just a, it was just a stop for us. Uh, right. that was on Britannia, uh, the second, sec Britannia's second ever cruise in 2015. Yeah. Uh, we right. stopped at Barcelona, that was one of the one of the cruise stops. Um, so can't help you with that one, I'm afraid. Yeah. And I'd say we, we did Hotel Brick, um, but Barcelona, lovely place, loads yeah. of hotels. Um, cruise boys know Barcelona quite well. Yeah. Um, you can do the hop on, hop off bus, you can get around yeah. like really quite easily. When we went, there was a massive, was it a football game or something on? And the whole, that big roundabout in the middle was chock a block full of fans. It was, it was bouncing, wasn't it? Yeah. But no, I did like Barcelona. Uh, question from Tom and Don, best experience you had? In Asia, I think you might have kind of answered that one, but um, would we? I'd uh, love to. Yeah. There were so many. Yeah, was, um... <laughs> there were so many. I mean, Sing Singapore, I think, was probably my favourite. Yeah, I, I love the um, in in Langkawi the video that went out this weekend. That little boat that we went on, that actually took me by surprise how fast that went. Yeah, I was expecting through them, but we went through the mangroves. Yeah, I was expecting like yeah, this yeah. sort of slow scenic yeah because it didn't look like it didn't it didn't look like it was going to take off at 100 mile an hour and all of a sudden we like, off we went and it's like yeah that 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 was good fun and we had another experience like that in vietnam but that's to oh, come, that's yeah. to come we won't talk about that because that's to come in another video um uh, yeah and question. yes we would like to go on that um we would definitely. have to do that definitely especially after seeing the video this week i did see the mangroves one it reminded me a bit of you know the beach that sort of this yeah. parts of it that yeah i feel yeah. it um a question for us um uh on our via soon what wines and cocktails would you recommend all of them <laughs> yeah all of them <laughs> yeah. um if they've got the Charles Smith wines, we always do like Boom Boom. That's really tasty. I do like them. Um, cocktails. I tend to do the gin, like the gin perfect serves are always yeah. nice. I know they're not cocktails, but it's still nice. Um, and we tend to stick with the traditional pina like coladas, pina coladas strawberry daiquiris. Yeah. Do, they the, do they still have the bramble? Yeah. Which was, wasn't that the one? Was no, it the bramble I, that was the no, one? I, it wasn't. I heard Ken. And Lindsay talking about this the other day. I can't remember what they called it. I, yeah, well, um, I've had it. Um, it's, a, it's like it's a smaller cocktail, but it's cream. Creme, and... Was it raspberry creme brulee or something like raspberry that? Raspberry creme brulee. Yeah. And I heard them in their. their no, I think it might have been their last the video. They say they don't do that anymore. Yeah, oh. there is that new one because I drank it. Remember was that was some, something brown? No, it's something brown. Well, it's like a small drink. Martini drink. No, it's in like a. Because it was the other one was a martini drink. Yeah, that used the to creme be. brulee. Yeah, that's there the, is a brand. The brand, the yeah. brand yeah, but you you meant the creme brulee. Oh, I meant the creme brulee. Yeah. I know what you meant. Yeah, yeah. I'm, um, sure, I'm sure Ken will swoop in. Yeah, I'm gonna say Ken, Ken will answer that yeah. one. I'm sure. Um, question for you guys: Any short UK blogs planned? Um, 
Callum enjoyed your Warwick Castle. Yeah, Warwick Castle. Warwick Castle was great fun, actually, because the only reason we did that was um, it, it was the first opportunity we had to, to do anything coming out of pandemic, wasn't it? So um, well, we, had, uh, it, we had we had this holiday this holiday budget yeah. burning a hole in our pockets because <laughs> yeah. so, it's quite expensive to do. It was super expensive. It was nearly six hundred quid for yeah. a, for the two nights. One yeah, night? One, one night, night one, one night. night. Yeah. Um, but no, we haven't got anything um, planned. We haven't got anything at all planned at the moment. Nothing booked. We are talking about stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know. Watch this space. I we'll really do. don't know. Um, we're not gonna we're not gonna rule it out, but I've nothing planned at the moment. I really want to do the Scottish Islands at some point. Yeah, we did. We went to Scotland. We um, a little pre Christmas trip to Fingal, um, the 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 ship, the hotel ship um, up in ago, up in Leith. That was really really good. So yeah, maybe something like that. Who knows? Don't know. Uh, Sisters in the seas are asking. Have you got any plans for Avia? um not at the moment no. really we're, we're sort of bypassing p and o at the moment and thing is yeah. it's, it's similar to iona really so i can understand from that standpoint yeah we, we did we did the, we did iona's maiden and really liked it actually really liked the ship but um there were only about a thousand fifteen hundred people on it mm -hmm. And there were days, We it was seven days because we were just coming out of pandemic again. And uh, it was seven days on board the ship. We didn't get off at all. It was just um, like seeing it cruising up to Scotland, around Scotland and back to the Southampton yeah. again. And uh, and it went really quickly and it was really enjoyable. But like I say, there was a thousand, fifteen hundred people on it. And there were times where, like in the coffee shop, for instance, it was really, really busy. Yeah. Yeah. And I just thought, wow, if this is busy now, what's it going to be like with five, six thousand people yeah. on it? And that has put me off wanting to do one of those ships. Yeah. I have to be honest. Yeah. We're, we're um, getting a bit of big ships out yeah, for yeah. that reason, yeah. all oh, the yes. queuing yeah. and stuff like that. Well, we we were saying yeah. today, actually, thinking about booking things. What the way we're looking at booking now is maybe booking an ocean view cabin, not bothering with the balcony, but using the difference in price to book things like the retreat or the sanctuary. And that sure. way you've got that guaranteed sort of hot tub because hot tubs are quite hard to get in. I mean, Azura, we managed quite easily on the first week mm -hmm. of our last, but the second week was a bit tougher. Yeah. But we find the hot tubs always really busy. So if you get the sanctuary, you've got that peace and tranquility. You get that bit of, you know, that it's just a bit nicer, isn't it? A bit of space. Yeah, yeah absolutely. In fact, we sort of thought that way because yeah. it's been, we always did an inside cabin until after COVID. Yeah. And then, of course, had the balcony. We um, love, I love and that. It's like, oh, I like the balcony. <laughs> I, the balcony. Well, I have to say, on it's Iona, that, that deck five cove balcony that we had on Iona was a really lovely, peaceful space. Um, it, it didn't feel like you're on a big ship. Once you're on that balcony, it felt like because you're so close to the water, it felt like mm. you were on a much smaller ship and you're a bit yeah. more enclosed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. 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 You're not. We, not... we like them on Queen Mary, and we quite awesome. like about the shelters. Yeah, they're quite yeah. nice. Yeah, but we yeah. we. we you've, really you've tried one of those new um, what do they do? They call them infinity balconies. Like oh, on the seventy. Yeah. 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 See, I didn't mind it. A lot of people absolutely hate it, and I can see why. It might not fit for some people. For me, the biggest takeaway from it was I didn't like the fact the captain could turn it off. That's one of the big downsides. Oh, I'm, I'm thinking, yeah. Point, yeah. So, so if it's stormy, she can or he can turn it off, and you think to yourself, okay, well, I've paid for a balcony here. Now I'm basically getting a, a big ocean view. Technically, mm -hmm. I only grabbed the rest of it. I actually, I actually really liked it yeah, because you've got it. like a shutter that would be in place of your conventional sort of door. And it, it went down. We even looked at it, didn't we? We looked because we went on Arvia and stuff afterwards. We were looking at the height of the the, bulk, the railing or what would be the railing. We said it wasn't much different. Not much and different. I thought it was a bit more private because you couldn't yeah. see your neighbour's feet and you couldn't hear them talking as much because it's like a proper. proper sure. Yeah. It's true. Like yeah. 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 It is like yeah. I, I didn't mind it at all, but yeah, some people absolutely hate it. Don't they? Yeah. It's like Marmite, I think. Because I think they've I got sort of a new icon, haven't they? I believe so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, what do you want to do? <laughs> uh, what do you think about river cruising? So you haven't done river cruising? No, we haven't. We haven't. No, that's got to be on the list as well. Actually, is I really that, want that, to do we'll, take we'll a river talk, cruise. It's, yeah, it's one of the things we're talking yeah. about. It is one of the things we're talking about, and we will do it definitely um, because I think we'd really, really enjoy that. Yeah. Um, but 
yeah, I, I don't know when that's going to yeah. happen. I'd, lo I'd love to do places like, you know, there's Austria, isn't there? Mm. Budapest. Yeah. yeah, the Nile or something would be quite nice as well. And one, I'd like to do that. We did that one in Avalon. That's when we met you guys in Amsterdam. Yeah, that's right. That's right. In, in Amsterdam, yeah, yeah. 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 I, was, I was going on the river cruise after that, and then, yeah, we it surprised us how much we really enjoyed it. To be honest, mm -hmm. really peaceful, quite. It's relaxed, but the days were so busy as well because the yeah. excursions were like full day excursions where you that's went on. It, yeah. Yeah. it is completely different to. Yeah. mainline cruising the things i can get my hair drum with things like you'd have they'd have a band on say in your port that evening you'd have your dinner you go to the lounge they'd have like a live band playing and then the ship would set off and it's literally it goes so fast you surprised i'm surprised how fast they move they just go and then about an hour or so later they finish the show the boat would stop or ship i should say would just stop on the side of the river there might be like a little you know path for them to get off they'd hop off you'd see their car would be parked on the side of the road the band would get off get in the car and drive off and the ship just carries on going it's just a little thing <laughs> like that and it's like in the morning you rock up at a port, at your port you go on your excursion for the day and then when you meet your ship again that evening the ship's in a completely different place it's just moved they just move it further down or up river and you just meet it yeah, again yeah. Like they do different things different excursions it's really things Did like you that have to do the thing different. where you were kind of parked next to Yes, we had oh, we, next to that, and then you had to sort of walk across the yeah, no, we didn't have to walk the across, they had to walk across ours, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah that was, that was strange. I always think that's really funny. Got them right next to you, like literally. The, the thing is, their windows are like um tinted and reflective, so you can't actually see in. Them. Oh, I don't know, I've heard that noise, you probably could. Depends how close, <laughs> friends are close to the window yeah. you stood. <laughs> <laughs> um. A question here about your celestial uh, cruise. Um, question: Enjoyed your celestial cruise videos. Uh, looked very relaxing. Would you recommend? Uh, yeah, definitely. We love celestial. Um, yeah, yeah. Enjoyed it. Enjoyed it more than I thought we would yeah. actually. Again, I think there were about a third of the passengers on it because everyone got freaked out yeah. over Israel because mm -hmm. they actually cancelled that port and put something else on. So I think um, a lot of the because it, it attracts a lot of the um, Americans. I think forty percent are American mm. customers. Okay. Um, so and I think they got a bit. Uh, they had a lot of cancellations yeah. on that cruise. So, but yeah, I mean, there's a cruise line. Uh, they were great. It was a really nice little ship, uh, really tidy. It was an older ship, lovely size though. What twelve hundred passengers uh, capacity? Capacity. I think there were only about four or five hundred on at the time um so of course it it was a lot quieter probably yeah. than it would be normally was the, the dining dining is quite a big thing for for me for both of us yeah. i think and the food was amazing it really was yeah. um breakfast is not a traditional sort of breakfast that you'd get on piano and morella if you look if you're after a proper full english they, they i think they would do their best but i think they would struggle it's not to say the food was bad because it wasn't it was fantastic it just um it was slightly different in certain areas but it was amazing wasn't it yeah. it, it yeah. was the, really the really staff good staff are really good aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah really friendly really so yeah friendly. really enjoyed it we definitely want to yeah. we, we want to try celestial again um I and think the drinks menu is extensive yeah. <laughs> like they bring well, in this menu and there's just like pages of stuff yeah and all these amazing I mean, you can you cocktail can spend like stuff. fifty euros on one cocktail, can't you? And they just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, was, was yeah. a, Celeste was one of those crews that does multiple ports a day, doesn't it? Yeah, so well, ours, do, ours wasn't, um, but they do because obviously we were doing the what was going to be the three continents cruise, so we were traveling a little bit further between um, destinations. Okay, uh, but they do the islands, they do the Greek islands, uh, and uh, and yes, they will do multiple ports a day on some itineraries. Um, yeah, fantastic. I, I would recommend them all day long, and I'm sure anyone would enjoy them. Yeah. Brilliant. They're absolutely brilliant. I think they're doing the Middle East as well at the end of the year. Yeah, so. uh, which is something they've not done before um, because they always close down, don't they? They've always traditionally shut down over the winter. Yeah, apparently. Uh, so, like from November through till March or something, they just completely shut down um, any operations. Uh, and they obviously that's not very cost effective as a company so they want to try they, they want to carry on traveling and operating through the winter so i think they're going to be doing a middle east itinerary mm -hmm. to, to to fill that gap 
That's another one I'd like to do again. Actually, the Middle East was amazing as well. <laughs> yeah, you've got a lot of yeah. wish list cruises coming up, I think. Oh, God, <laughs> need to get booking. Um, so this is a question that we, we had as well. Morella or P&O? Oh, oh, see, at the moment, Morella? Morella, because of the itineraries. If I had to say um, what was the most important for us at the moment, I think it's the itinerary. Yeah. And P&O just aren't cutting the mustard as far as itineraries go, I'm afraid to say. Um, it's going to be Morella all day long if we want to, to visit a little bit further afield. Yeah. And of course, yeah, so those, you, you choose cruise on itinerary rather than ship or anything yeah. like that. Yeah. Certainly. Yeah. 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 I would say certainly at the moment. And that's probably likely to be the, always to be the case. I, I think. think, yeah. 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 Unless we were to, to do Icon. I really want to do Icon because it looks amazing. <laughs> and, uh... It is really expensive. <laughs> <laughs> no, tell us about it. We were actually booked on the Maiden. And when we booked it, we were on the river cruise and it went on sale and we just booked it. And it was about £1,300, I think, for an ocean view, which was really quite good value that's now looking good. back. Yeah. yeah. But we thought, okay, that's fine. And then obviously you have to wait for their drinks packages to come out. And I think it was coming in at about $100, $100 a day or £100 um, a day? £110 per person per day. But they reduced it to a special offer of like £90 per person per day. Wow. So we factored that in. Then we, then we were looking, wow. obviously, if you want to do your specialty dining. So we were looking at all of those, start to add that on. Then we had our flights to add on top. And it very quickly started to really add up to the point we thought, no, we can't afford it. We won't do it. Well, I remember looking at the hideaway sunbeds, which are the ones that are in the, in the pool kind of sunbeds. They were like £250 per adult per day. Yeah. I was and just like, wow. but it did look really, yeah. really cool. And then we booked Sun Princess because we cancelled that. We thought, oh, let's give Sun a go. That's new. That'll be exciting. We'll try that. And then we all know what happened here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's a shame. It's horrible when stuff gets cancelled. But, you know. Um, Louise, question. Um, I'll be on my first cruise in June, going to the fjords on, or going on yeah, Iona to the fjords. What would be your number one tip? Uh, firstly, for that time cruiser, and secondly, for the fjords, stopping at Stavanger, Olden, and Aylesund. Okay. Um, first time cruiser, just go and enjoy it, isn't it? Yeah. Don't, you know, just don't expect anything of it just go on and just absorb it all in because it'd yeah. be make sure yeah, I, would, I would always say don't think about it too much yeah. i say on your first one just go weather, for it well, wouldn't you yeah pack for all, yeah, all, all weather. Weather. you want a raincoat definitely yeah. <laughs> i was i was <laughs> yeah. waiting to come in i was waiting to come in with my team <laughs> there which was going to be just make sure you got a raincoat yeah um i'd say Stavanger, we went on the pulp. I like that little ferry boat we went on, that sightseeing ferry trip to the pulp at Rock. Yeah. I thought that was brilliant. It was quite reasonable. You, you can do so much in Norway yeah, DIY. I really like that. Um, and it is a lot cheaper than cruise And lines. I did really like the low and sky lift. I always say that to everyone because I did really, really enjoy that. That was awesome in Oldham. Yeah, we haven't, um, we haven't done that, but we've done the, the uh, glacier, haven't we? The Brixton glacier. Yes, we good. did that, yeah. That yeah. I think, I think but... try, and, try and get out on the open decks as well for sail-ins and sail-out. Yeah. Um, because there's, there's nothing like it, I don't think, really. I think you struggle to find um, scenery like that sailing in and out of anywhere in the world, really. There's a few places, but it is pretty stunning. And it's yeah. it's it's something that's worth getting up early for or having a later dinner for. Yeah, yeah. definitely. You know, even, even if you've got a balcony, I always say to people, go up on deck as well. Yeah. When you're going for the fjords and you've got the right round, you've not just that one side. That's right. Got... Yeah. That's right. It's amazing. Yeah, definitely. Um, let's have a look. Uh, um, question, Andy see just to say your Alaska vlog is uh, by far the best cruise vlog I've watched. There you go. Hey, <laughs> just to say, well done. There we go. Oh. <laughs> thank you very much it's very easy uh, when you've got such a nice scenery to film it's it, it makes things a lot easier um it's just a case of pointing the camera and pressing record yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thing is, like, like you there were a lot of really fun things to do yeah. on that on yeah, yeah, yeah. As well. yeah there was a lot going on it was good and but, like, like so, you were saying before though and i'm the same the a lot of the videos i actually make uh more for ourselves and i look back on them like in my own personal holiday video so i think yeah. if that yeah. that sort of if it's an interesting thing like you were saying with the scenery and stuff you want that footage for yourself to look at yes. so i think it's easier yeah. to yeah. definitely film it then 
Um, question here uh, from Gail and Mike. Do you have any plans for Queen Anne? Not, no, not at the moment, actually. No, we've only done one Cunard. And I have to say, oh, we were talking about it the other day, weren't we? And we really enjoyed that. But it was only three nights. But it was quite nice because we were able to dress up. And because it was only three nights, it didn't feel like a chore. So yeah. I wore I wore a suit, then my dinner jacket, and then a suit because it was only three nights. And yeah. you dressed up accordingly yeah. um, for the for those three nights as well. And it was it was really good fun. It went really quickly. And we would like to try another Cunard for sure. But no, no plans for 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 Queen Anne no, at the moment. Because Cunard have. Um... Their dress code isn't because when we used to go on and we used to do the same it was always like a suit and a jacket but you don't have to actually do that so much now no they seem to relax slightly yeah i mean we were no, wearing the, I mean, some of the men didn't have the jacket i, th I think if we yeah trousers. if we were going to do a longer yeah. cruise we it, I, I wouldn't wear a suit every night it was bit it was because it was a weekend and it was three yeah. nights yeah definitely. i think everyone i thought i might be a little bit overdressed but actually pretty much everyone did a similar kind of thing yeah because it was only three nights yeah definitely yeah. Um, we've well, got Queen Anne. You've been on the smaller ships, though, haven't you? The Cunard. You're ones. Sorry? They're, they're different than Queen Mary, aren't they? What's that? Sorry, I missed the smaller that. Cunard ships. Yes, Queen, Queen Elizabeth and Queen Victoria. They're very, very similar. They're practically twins almost. They're really nice. There's some. I love Queen Mary too because she's special. She's an ocean liner. The scale of it and the space to passions ratio is amazing. Um, but Queen Elizabeth and Queen Victoria are really, really nice. Mm. I do slightly, I think, prefer their interiors because they've got this beautiful atrium with all the sweeping staircases, all wood. It is like mm -hmm. stepping back in time. You walk in and it's just, wow, isn't it? So elegant. Um, but I, I really like them. So Queen Anne is slightly more modern. They're changing it. The yep. stairs and all aren't going to match. It's not going to be a copy. I'm looking forward to see what, how they change it. So it will be interesting to see what mm -hmm. they do with it. because We do like it. that class of ship, um, Pinnacle class. Of course, mm -hmm. we've been on Ponings Dam to Alaska. Yeah. And uh, obviously, Queen Anne's going to look quite different, I would imagine. But the ship was lovely, wasn't it? We really, really liked it. Yeah. 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 Um, got a question here for you. Um, booked on a cruise to Singapore. What's the <laughs> best excursion you've done out there? November. We only Lots did. <laughs> yeah, we we only did one excursion yeah. in Singapore, if which we've not put out yet because if, we did it all. Ourselves. If you're talking about Singapore specifically, the city, then yes, we did the best of Singapore, um, which included uh, the flyer, which is the massive big wheel, um, the, the, the boat, the, the bun boat, yeah, um, which is quite good. Um, and what else was botanical it? Botanical gods. Oh, the botanical gods. So it was a really nice little, typical little sort of four hour. It was actually land, sea, and air, that one, wasn't it? Yeah, that's what they call it. We'd rather have yeah. these like fancy titles for all their excursions that then this <laughs> yeah. one was land sea and air and it was those three elements and it was good um but i can't i can't give you a recommendation i could recommend that one because it was good but i can't compare it to others because that was the only one we did actually in singapore and only because singapore is so easy to get around yeah you don't need to do an excursion um unless you've got some sort of specific need that you need to do it like you know sort of maybe sort of um uh you can't get around so easily on your own and you need to do an, uh, a, an official excursion. Um, you don't really need to. Singapore is very, very easy. You just need a credit card that you're tapping and out on the MRT on yeah. and you just go go around on the on the train yeah. really easy. Just seen somebody really say easy. Gardens by the Bay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that you can get to on the MRT from the cruise terminal. Dead easy. Yeah. Um, so this is, I think you said, and you kind of covered this one. Um, what did you get up to in Vietnam? So that's coming up. Yeah. Uh, that's one of the next upcoming blogs, isn't it? You said to Vietnam. Yeah, yeah, it is. Um, yeah. It's the last one. It was our last um, port, wasn't it? Vietnam. Yeah. Uh, we did an official excursion. Uh, photographs are on, Inst are on our, our Instagram. Because I've got a fantastic photo, and I think Marilla might use it. Because I know they've, they've asked if they can use it; they haven't used it yet. But uh, we were sat in a in a little traditional little boat, weren't we, on this excursion? I can't what they call sampan, isn't it? Something like that, yeah. <laughs> traditional little Vietnamese boat, and yeah, you're sort of sat one behind the other, and right in front of them, we're all wearing the traditional, or everyone else other than me, we're wearing the traditional Asian straw hats. 
and the girl from the um uh, yeah the um excursion, excursion desk yeah, yeah she was out with us and she was wearing the morella top and it says morella cruises across the back and she yeah. was sat directly in front of me wearing these wearing this hat and i've got a really good photograph of her with the morella cruises top sat in front of me on this boat i thought it was a really good photo and I yeah i know, I know the one you're on about team. yeah yeah I yeah yeah so yeah that was uh that was an excursion that was an official excursion we were out on um, but yeah we basically went down the mekong didn't we yeah so we it, was a, it was a it was it was a sail down the mekong so we were on a slightly bigger boat sailing down the main part of the mekong weren't we yes. and then yeah. we stopped and we got on these little sand pans or whatever you call them what and then we did a sort of like a little tiny branch off of the mekong on those little on those little boats and that was that was brilliant but my god it was a long way a long four hours long drive to the recon yeah that was on a minibus i would would say that was (laughs) other than other than singapore that was the (laughs) one downside about an asian cruise is everywhere is a pain to get to yeah because it's all it's all um commercial ports isn't it yeah and everywhere is a big long drive (laughs) to get anywhere (laughs) and it's uh long yeah. day it was a long day that because i think it i think it was about four hours to get there because there was some accident on the um their main sort of highway so we went a different way um then we had the excursion which was about three or four hours and then it, it was over three hours back wasn't it definitely definitely um right, this is a question I was, I, i've actually written it down as well because i was going to ask you it uh later on and you were saying about um alaska you just point the camera and film but i, I don't think it is just that because uh, <laughs> as, as a fly drive explorer said the quality of your um videos are really good um do you use proper camera mic yeah so I know you're um, a bit of a gear geek i think can't you i've gone through because because i started 10 years ago uh, i just bought I bought a GoPro in the days where GoPros were just used by surfers and snowboarders. <laughs> and it was actually the first GoPro. It didn't have any stabilization built in like they do now. It was shaky as anything. Um, but it was the first GoPro. It was the Hero 4. Um, and it was the first GoPro that had 4K. That's what I started with. Um, and over that sort of 10-year period, I have I just went mad. Because I, lo- I love tech anyway, and I love buying stuff. And... Uh, yeah, I just kind of went, I bought all this different stuff and it, I just got, it got a little bit overwhelming and I, I just thought, I got to the point where I'm like, well, right, I can't, I don't need that, don't need this, don't need that. And now, so now all I use is a, a relatively small, interchangeable, proper camera, interchangeable lens, proper camera, which I use for most things, a couple of different lenses so I can, I can sort of zoom in and get a bit of a, re- get a bit of reach or, or wide angle, whatever. I, I've got a little uh, one of the little pocket cameras, little stabilized pocket cameras, DJI, which everyone's using now uh, because they're so good. And I've got an action camera, which I can take underwater, but they're small enough. I can mount it places like, like I'll, you'll, you'll see shots that I mount looking down onto the balcony, that kind of thing. That's always just a little action camera. So just the three cameras and two of them are really, really small. And it, uh, so it's just the one smallish sort of yeah. proper camera just those yeah, three the, camera. the more gear you've got to kind of lug around it just takes away from it doesn't it you can't you yeah, it got it does it yeah. gets stressful because of course then if you start using all these cameras you've got all these sd cards all this footage on different cameras and it yeah. get, does get stressful so yes uh three is bad enough but i've got a genuine use for three cameras yeah and i don't always use three cameras all the time i've just got those three to use if i need if I need to use them for different reasons. I mean, it already, already takes like hours <laughs> yeah, <laughs> into yeah. early morning trying to download all the footage, yeah. doesn't it? It does take a long time, yeah. So, yeah, so it's a Sony Sony ZV or ZVE1 is my main camera, a DJI Osmo Pocket 3 and a DJI Action 4. They're my three cameras. Yeah. Um, I can see we're really behind on the questions. I've just realised when they were coming in. Yeah, um, go for it. So uh, I'm just trying to find some which really. Uh, You've had it. I've done that one. There we are. Okay. Uh, what do you enjoy most about cruising? And what is your main driver to book in? Destinations at the moment, I think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, visiting different places. Um, 
the actual travel aspect rather than the cruise ship aspect is the travel aspect isn't it um and i have to say i don't know it's it's kind of, it's just a really nice easy safe way to travel the world i love to be able to get off the ship in different places but have somewhere nice to go back to <laughs> and not have to con constantly pack and unpack i'm too old for all that <laughs> yeah <laughs> backpacking rubbish you know staying in hostels and stuff and backpacking yeah. around the world um i don't want to do that so i can travel the world comfortably and that's what i enjoy yeah. and you drive a lot for your job so you don't really want to be driving yeah i don't i don't want to be yeah enough. i don't it's just hassle-free travel isn't it and yeah. and that's that that travel aspect is what i what i love plus I, I i love i do love the, the cruising aspect it's not that i don't love cruise ships it's i love i love the food and uh, the food and entertainment of uh, of cruise ships as well i really in, enjoy that um so this was in the news uh this week i think about titanic <laughs> 2 <laughs> would you sail on it? I would. I would like to see it and all, but I, I don't know if I pay because money to be treated like steerage. I wouldn't pay that, but yeah, I would like <laughs> to see it and maybe experience all the nice stuff and just physically get an idea of scale and stuff. But yeah, I'm a bit. What about you? Yeah, I probably would. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't mind giving yeah. it. As you said, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to be third class. I wouldn't be superstitious. <laughs> I wouldn't be superstitious about it. The name yeah. wouldn't put me off. It, it, there would have to be a reason for me to want to do it, though. Um, it wouldn't just, you know, um, like I say, I wouldn't get superstitious or weird about it. No. Um, so the deluxe drinks package here now, what do you think? Um, we, we find it they're worth like, it yeah. for us, but obviously not for everybody. Yeah. Do you tend to go drinks packages or not? Not really. We've we've had a couple, but it's not something we tend to do really. Yeah, we did one yeah. on Royal Caribbean, but then ours was I think forty three pounds each at night. Yeah, it was not a... not a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what ours was. Yeah. Like. yeah, it was reasonable on that. So. I mean, if you like your large glasses of wine and your stronger, like your double, your ultimate G and Ts, those sort of drinks, a deluxe is definitely for you. But if you're more just a casual wine drinker and you know small normal glasses i should say say small normal and um just single measures of gin you'd be fine with the classics if you're looking to save the pennies but we found the deluxe to be quite good yeah we, we and, and there was a lot more good. choice on the menu now isn't there um what's been the favorite this is a very difficult one um what's what has been your favorite port visited this kind of comes up every time we do a live mm. it's, it's very difficult to answer it's very hard yeah i mean I think i'm gonna have to say singapore <laughs> yeah yeah maybe singapore you've got to think how much value do you get out of the one day or, or whatever yeah um and uh yeah we got quite a lot out of singapore we did. didn't we yeah we did um yeah i mean it's almost it's almost an impossible to answer isn't it really yeah because there are a lot of really lovely ports. yeah, yeah. We, we struggle when we get asked it we usually always sort of default say Dubrovnik always ends up in there because Dubrovnik's yeah. the we've actually gone back to for a, like a, we did an Airbnb yeah. three night weekend kind of stay, didn't we? Yeah, yeah that's we the only that. land holiday we've done since we started cruising. That was because we did it on a cruise. But yeah, we did like. I Dubrovnik. didn't. I didn't appreciate in Dubrovnik that the old town was so so small. Mm. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> I, I just love it. It's a beautiful place. Yeah, yeah, it's a lovely, lovely place. Okay. Um, uh, so Carl loves your videos um, and the music you use to enhance the visuals. Okay. Thank just, you. Not, oh, they have asked what are your day jobs. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Epidemic sound is what I use for music. Um, I've definitely made some mistakes and probably will continue to make some mistakes. So it's a trial and error, really. I yeah. think I'm getting a lot better at it. Um, I've definitely made some mistakes. I look back at old videos now and think, yeah, that that music didn't really fit. Yeah. Um, yeah. I wish I'd So, but I think I'm, I think those those occasions are getting less. Um, I think I spend a bit more time and a bit. I'm I'm a bit more careful about the the sort of uh, the music I use now. But yeah. that's one of the most enjoyable things for me actually is uh, is music. Um, our day jobs. Kirsty works in for an electronics company, and I work with dogs. Um, that's that <laughs> we've made a mistake with music before because a lot of these this is if anyone's making videos and putting them on youtube i 
is my advice is some of these you see a non-copyright music and they'll let you use the music and you can put it to your video and everything's fine and then give it about two years down the road oh, they'll say audio jungle stuff's coming audio up. jungle they'll say oh you've had a copyright claim on this song luckily gavin's kept some of the old old i've got all the licenses for it, yeah so. So we have actually had it for a few of them, but some of those old ones, it's annoying because you bought them in good faith that they were copyright free, you used them, and then they've just decided to change it. And I think it's wrong. Oh, I've heard right. of that happening. Actually. Have, yeah. um, a few of our older videos definitely have, have come back and said, but Epidemic's brilliant. We've been using that for years now. Yeah, yeah, and there's, lo there's absolutely awesome. loads yeah. of and it's stuff nice in there, isn't there? I can, I can use... And it might be really short snippets, almost like you, I mean, if you're watching the videos, you might not even hardly notice, but I might use two, three, four tracks in one video, yeah. but they'll be just tiny little bits, you yeah. know? Um, I try not to repeat use music, mm -hmm. um, and Epidemic's great for that. Yeah. Yes, it's got so much choice, isn't it? brilliant. Um, okay, so going back to what we're talking about, your favourite port, uh, least favourite port. <laughs> Oh, it must be one of those. Oh, yeah. oh I'm, I'm going to probably have to say the Caribbean because it's just not my favourite yeah. holiday destination. But Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, to be honest. Yeah, I get, I get what you're saying. They're, they're, they get a bit samey, don't they? We've, yeah. we've been to some Caribbean ports that you just think, yeah, the beach was all right. It was fine. But, you know, let's move on to the next one. And it's not... There's nothing about it that's particularly exciting, perhaps. Yeah. It wasn't well, bad, it just wasn't particularly memorable either. Yeah. I'm trying to so think of all the ends of the wheel ports we've been to. Like, yeah, the Ravenna was really yeah. Yeah, I didn't like that one. I think La Half actually sometimes seems, yeah. I don't know why it seems to get it a bit of a, a bad rap. It gets a bad rap, but but we've been twice and both times we've done official excursions and we, they were both absolutely brilliant. Well, we did Normandy, the yeah. D-Day landings in Normandy the first time, and that is amazing. Yeah. That yeah. was yeah. amazing. Yeah. Pegasus yeah. Bridge, um, go and see the, the graves, which mm. is, you know, really sad, um, and all the battlements yeah. and the beaches they fought on. And then the last time, brilliant. the last time on QM2, we went to the distillery, um, the Benedictine distillery. That was awesome. Oh, yeah. an extra tap. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that was really good. Really yeah. good. We only got off we only got off last time we went. We'd been to the third time about three times, but we couldn't actually get the we couldn't get off. We just looked at it and just thought, I oh, know we'll stay on the ship. But last time we did make a point of getting off. And it wasn't too bad. Um because there's a shopping um, centre or something, isn't yeah, there? You can kind of thing in the middle as well. The Christmas market. Anything. But I mean it was it started raining, which always wrecks it because <laughs> you just want to get out of the rain then, don't you? Yeah, well, once, once yeah. you're soaked through, you've had enough. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. Of course, that does make a difference as well. You could go to the best port in the world, and if you yeah. if the weather's not on your side, then it turns into a bad day. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. weather weather dependent as well, isn't it? Um question here. Uh from big fella around the casino um and the slots so, yeah on p o they basically charge it to your card um, that's, that's a nice easy question um i th think i know i've missed some questions so if anybody's got a really burning question uh, i've got yeah. we've got a few minutes left to get through them um but otherwise i think we might have caught up Hooray. Well, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I have no bruises today for you. Well, I've stop yapping. <laughs> and I, I did have some questions, but I think they've all been answered as well. I think yeah. we've covered like quite a lot, haven't we? And like we, we're talking and then a question comes up and we think we've already said that. Yeah, um, no, it's all been really good. Was... I did see some questions um, about the... Um, here we go. Yeah, it's, this came up a few times. Um, um, it's, a, it's around uh, the controversy over... Um, MSC. Um, mm -hmm. With that one, we, we don't know that all sides of the story, yeah. and so we're yeah, not. You, you, comment comment yeah. 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 you can. You just got to take it at face value, and at face value, yeah, uh, yeah, it sounds out of order, but yeah, yeah we it's difficult to make an absolute judgment, isn't it? Because you don't know yeah. the full story, but yeah, we, we've been asked not to film in the past, and yeah, you've yeah, it's just one of those things you have to get on with, mm -hmm. isn't it? Um, so yeah. Uh, yeah, I have to say, I think if it happened to us, 
you just have to sort of okay you know, yeah of course start, yeah i mean you don't you don't unfair. mind do you you don't no. you don't mind as long as it's approached in the in the right yeah. way and and i think that's probably the issue with msc because kind of everything we seem to hear it's it's kind of the way they address things sometimes yeah. it's the communication yeah. aspect of it it's yeah just, like, yeah yeah but again we, I, we don't know we went there we don't know how it Oh, I, I did say a question cup at three or four times, so I thought better than a draft. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, um, so yeah, you, you guys have been on Iona. Yeah. Um, so, what's your favourite restaurant on there? You said the um, was it, it was um, it was a little bit of a letdown because the we we love the beach house on Piano. It's one of the favourite things of uh, the uh, one of our favourite things on Piano is the beach house. Absolutely love it. And it wasn't up and running fully, was it, on Iona on the Maiden? Oh, no, no, they were doing um, so. That that was a little bit disappointing. I would otherwise, it, I'd probably say the Beach House. Um, but the keys were really good. I had the fish and chips, and the, the keys. Oh all, God, the fish and chips. The keys were, were oh, was operating as yeah. as it does now, and yeah. uh, I really enjoyed that. But then I like the Olive Grove, and I really like Keel and Cow because yeah. it's all steak. Keel and Cow, yeah. actually, yeah. The olive, the steak's my favourite. Olive Grove actually was brilliant, wasn't it? Yeah. So yeah, uh, yeah, I'd probably say the Olive Grove um, on our, on our inaugural. Yeah, I think I'm Keel and Cow, and yeah. I'm Beach House. I do. I've gone. I didn't used to like the Beach House. And I think when we first tried it, when we first tried was it on. Uh, it was when we went back on the owner. Yeah, we went back. No, I mean we went back on it, but we originally I wasn't too fussed on yeah. the Beach House. We went on Azura years and years ago, and we did it on Oceana, and we completely went off it. And then we, we've done it like last year. Then you it. absolutely loved it. Did it twice on Azura the other week. Yeah, that was so good. It was. It was. It, it has become one of our favourite places. Yeah. 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 It's that salt, is it salt rock or lava rock where the steak comes out? Yeah. That's it, yeah. That yeah. Cut, yeah, I love that. Yeah, just don't wear your best clothes, it? <laughs> otherwise yeah. you wear steak. In. Yeah, <laughs> we're, we're, we're one shirt in, come out, take it off, and then put the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and maybe put a napkin down your down your front as well. I did that because it was spit in. So if you had something like a white shirt on, you'd have all the oil on you, wouldn't you? You would see it. <laughs> That or you dribbling and just control <laughs> We don't hit the gym before a cruise, but we definitely uh, must diet before a cruise. We and after must it. diet before a cruise, and we do do it. At, yeah, in between cruises, although we haven't officially started properly yet, we're going to start tomorrow. Yeah, we don't um, do the gym anymore. And how does the glass house compare on different ships? Uh, love it Azuri. Yeah, if you like it on Azuri, you like it on. They're, they're all they're pretty, all very very similar. Pretty similar. I think my favourite has to be Ventura's glass house, though. I will stay, still say that. Actually, you yeah. say that. Yeah. You said yeah. that earlier. Yeah. Love, love it. Yeah, love it on Ventura. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't because it's a different menu, isn't it, on Iona, or it was when we were on. Yes, yeah. it might be slightly different. Yeah, it's still because yeah, because I know that like, we've been getting the, the three small plates and things, haven't we? But on Iona last time, I remember it didn't seem to be the same, did it? No, because I remember we had all of the plates come out. We had a table full of one of sliders. One that's what that's what I like. Sliders, <laughs> the sliders. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, but I, I'm not sure if it's changed. I'm not sure. I have to double check next time. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and just like that, we, we're hitting the hour, which I, I don't know where it's gone. It's kind of flown really? by. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's oh, gone the hour. Wow. Yeah, um, that has gone super fast. Yeah. So thank you everybody for joining this evening. Um, please make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Yes. Um, and thank you for all the questions. Um, and if you haven't checked out Andy and Casey's channel. Go to check it out. Yes. So you guys, you're on YouTube and Instagram. You're not on uh, YouTube, Instagram, and X. That's right. it. Yeah, that's and it. Facebook. Oh yeah, and Kirsty does. Uh, Facebook. Yeah. Kirsty, um, Kirsty looks after Facebook. So yeah, if cool. you want to speak to Kirsty specifically, go on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. not allowed. I'm not allowed on the rest. <laughs> but no, she. I mean, Kirsty does. Kirsty <laughs> monitors at everything. Um, but um, but yeah, it's usually yeah, it's usually Kirsty that actually yeah. does Facebook. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah. So thank you all very much for joining us. Yes. And thank you guys yes, for being with us. Join us as well. Thank we you very much. It. Yeah, it's been, it's been good fun. <laughs> so um, thank you everybody. Yeah. Um, and we'll see you next month for our next live with who I, I can't say who we've got at the moment because I need to confirm it. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.